All right, guys, so I have my gloves on, my mask on, I have my station set up. What I'm gonna do is start mixing some of the resin with the catalyst so it can set. And this is all practice, okay? I'm gonna move my things. It is very stinky, so you wanna be very careful when you're working with it. We're gonna start with about, I would say two tablespoons to mix with our catalyst. So we have about, we're gonna start with two teaspoons actually. And then our catalyst, when we add this in, it's going to activate it. So we're gonna do one, two, three drops to see. And as you mix it, it's gonna start to do that chemical reaction. So you're gonna mix for, I would say about 30 seconds. I have my whole station set up, so I just have to be patient today. I'm gonna try to cast about three items. I have my heart, I have my earrings, and then I'm gonna do this piece right here. Okay, so first layer down. Once we have it all mixed together, we're gonna put a little bit in the mold you don't want to fill it all the way up because we have to put our items. Okay, a little bit here. And then my two jewelry. I'm gonna actually put in a little bit of the spray to keep that easy to pull out. And then pour in the jewelry. So the theme is Vegas. What I'm gonna do now is get all of my pieces. I have something from the desert. So I'm gonna do this for, let's see, the heart. I have my Vegas design. It's hard to use gloves, so we just have to be very careful. All right, so I'm gonna put in that right there. And then the heart's gonna have the flower from outside and you can always use a little pen. This is gonna help you center everything inside the resin. If you have any bubbles, you can pop it with the pen. I'm gonna place everything very carefully in there. All right, and then I also have my glitter that I'm gonna put in. I'm just gonna do a little bit of glitter for my jewelry, for the Vegas. You can bring any items that you want for yours. It's up to you. Don't wanna overcrowd it. Using the pen very carefully, you're gonna position everything in there that you need. You'll notice it starts to harden pretty quickly. Okay, so right now that is the first layer that we have in there. This stuff hardens pretty quickly, so I'm gonna take the rest of it, fill it to the top to coat everything in there. All right, very good, all the way to the top. Being very careful as I pour because it is quite messy. And then if I want to add any color, I have this ombre color that I'm going to use. I'm going to put about one drop in there and see as we mix. You can kind of see how it's looking and changing color. Whatever color you want is fine. I'm going to do a second drop, third drop. Okay, get the color that I like deep you want that. So about five drops that I'm gonna use right here. I'm gonna put that behind the nature one. I want it to kind of shine a little bit in color. Okay. And there we go. Try to keep it super clean. And then we're gonna let these dry anywhere from an hour to 24 hours, depending on what we're working with. So gloves will go in the trash can, we'll clean our area up, and 
that's it. We'll see how these look in about an hour to 24 hours.